first, we have to figure out the equation for the first segment on the acceleration versus time graph. We can do that by using our simple y equals mx plus b equation. Looking at the first segment, we can see that the b value is 0 since it goes through the origin. The slope is 8 over 10, which is 4 over 5. So the equation becomes a is equal to 4 over 5t. The second segment is simply a equals 8. Now we will write a velocity equation for the first segment. Remember that velocity can be found by finding the area under an acceleration versus time graph. So in other words, we can take the integral of each segment. For the first section, the time is between 0 and 10 seconds. So we have the following equation. When we solve the integral, we get the following. Now we need to figure out the velocity at 10 seconds. We can do that by substituting a time value of 10 seconds into our equation. When we solve it, we get 40 meters per second. So in other words, at 10 seconds, the car is moving at a speed of 40 meters per second. Let's work on the next segment now. We will use the speed we just found as the initial condition for the next time period, and time starts at 10 seconds. We can integrate the second segment as follows. When we integrate, we get the following equation. Remember the initial velocity we found? We have to use that now because our initial condition starts at 10 seconds. So we get the following. Now that we simplified our equation, we can figure out at which point in time the velocity is 50 meters per second. Substituting gives us the following. Solving for t gives us 11.25 seconds. You can now plot these two segments and you get the following graph. We hope this helped you and if it did, please give us a like.